and we will let our son go and be with the angels. Tragedy after tragedy. Give him a chance. Give him a chance to live. Played out through the courts. Our beautiful daughter Tafida is not dying. And behind the cases, profound questions about what constitutes a life worth living and how and who should decide when it's over. These points are to the parents to decide what is the best interest of their child. Two-year-old Elta died after her parents lost a legal fight to stop the removal of life support, arguing it was against their religious beliefs. Her father wants a law change. He's been watching Archie's case. I'm following it from the beginning when I saw it online. And I can't, I, I can't understand it. I can't understand the system. I can't understand it. They're just helpless. Parents are helpless. There can be an insurmountable gulf between both sides over the right to life, with third party involvement, often religious groups, criticised for prolonging a painful process. Families who are desperate will reach out to anybody who will tell them things that they might wish to hear. And sometimes that can include people who may have different agendas, they may have different uh, political or other views that have a reason to wish to tell the parents uh, things that, that, that may not be accurate. The case of Tafida Rakib, whose parents won their battle taking her to Italy for treatment, has given families hope, but hers is the exception. The government's considering an inquiry into different ways of handling cases like independent mediation a way, if possible, uh, of learning from those where the parents have been able to work with the clinicians for the best outcome that they all agree for their child without getting caught in an adversarial situation. There may never be a bridgeable gap over who should decide what's in the best interests of a child and the fundamental question over life or death. Adele Robinson, Sky News.